For over 1,700 years, February the 14th has been dedicated to celebrating lovers and is associated with the life of the third century martyr, St. Valentine. EWTN's correspondent Colm Flynn takes us to Terni, Italy to explore the city's Valentine's Day festivities. Pope Francis wrote in La Mars Letizia about Valentine's Day and St. Valentine, urging couples not to focus on the commercial aspect of the holiday, like the cards and the gifts, but to instead discover what the true meaning of romantic love really is, and also learn about the life and legacy of St. Valentine. As a priest and eventually Bishop of Terni, Valentine was known to have worked tirelessly evangelizing pagan cities and promoting Christian values. Tradition holds that after Emperor Claudius II outlawed marriages, Valentine continued performing the sacrament in secret, which led to his imprisonment and martyrdom. He offered his life to bear witness to the gospel, and in this life, he manifested what the gospel is, that is, pure love. It is believed that he was martyred in Rome on February the 14th, and soon after his death, devotion to this defender of love spread, changing a pagan holiday into the celebration of Christian love. Stemming from his passion for safeguarding Christian love, Valentine became known as the patron saint of lovers. In Terni, couples from all over Italy and Europe come to receive a special blessing and make a promise to God and Saint Valentine, professing their commitment to love. This comes from a story that he assisted in the, the matrimony of a a Christian converted lady with a pagan soldier. So important was his blessing and he was helping this couple to get married. From that tradition comes this custom of Festa delle Promesse, we say in Italian, a feast of promise, we can say. Before they get married, they come from the altar of St. Valentine and they promise to St. Valentine, promise to God that they will uh, get married, uh, they will get married and they will live uh, uh, faithfully to the marriage commitment. And what do you want to get from the blessing? What would you like it to do for you and for your marriage? Yeah. <laughs> and from, for me it is very important because it's um, I think that's serenity and it makes confidence in our intentions and reinforces our wishes because what is the power of man compared to the power of the Almighty? <laughs> and why did you come for the blessing? Why is it important to get the blessing? Well, because we decided to become a real family, to start to be a family and, and live together for, for the rest of the life. What is your dream? Your hope for the future. Nostro sogno, nostro sogno quale? Facci serenità. Peace and love. Which one? I just the one is just to to be loved by you wow. for the last day of my life and to keep you happy. No, I think you don't have to wish for that. It's granted already. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> The legend of St. Valentine is a strong reminder that Valentine's Day is more than just cards and presents, but a day centered on true love. It's hard to believe that over 1700 years later, the people here in Terni and all over the world continue to celebrate St. Valentine. And for the couples who receive their blessings this weekend, the soon to be married couples, they will now go forward in life, holding in their hearts a deeper understanding of the true meaning of love, as demonstrated by the life of Valentinus, St. Valentine. <laughs>